The state of San Diego County is strong and getting stronger every single day. New tonight, County Board of Supervisors Chairman Nathan Fletcher gave an update on the state of San Diego County. He told hundreds of people in Mountain View tonight about the progress made while also unveiling new initiatives. Our Phil Blower is here now with some of the highlights. Well, Kathleen, Chairman Fletcher says he's very proud of what the county officials have accomplished in the past year despite all these ongoing challenges we've been dealing with. He says he's not going to let anybody or anything take us backward, choosing to fight forward instead. Speaking at the San Diego Continuing Education Center in Mountain View, the second term chairman said that while county residents and their government cannot solve every problem, they can fight hard to drive progress every day. Fletcher noted that life has been hard because of inflation, soaring housing costs, deep political divisions, and lingering problems. He says signs of hope began with the community coming together to mount one of the most effective COVID-19 responses in the nation. In the face of disinformation and division, we did not give up and we did not give in. We kept moving forward. More than 93% of San Diegans vaccinated, one of the lowest COVID death rates in the nation half the COVID death rate of the state of Florida. Let me repeat that. Half the COVID death rate of the state of Florida. What we did together saved lives. We provided swift emergency relief that local businesses, families, and workers needed. And together, we're rebuilding our economy. Throughout the whole of the pandemic, our county workers did not flinch. They took care of us through COVID. And now moving forward, we're going to take care of them. And Fletcher announced several initiatives and programs, including a tent shelter for 150 homeless people, a new addiction treatment facility, exploring a living wage ordinance, hiring more veterans in county government, and overturning a county ban on project labor agreements. So Kathleen, really, there's still a lot on the table that needs to be tackled in the months ahead.